Chamber. Let's move over now to the Green Chamber and see activities and action that they've undertaken in the last one year of the 10th House of Representatives. The 10th House of Representatives is perhaps the most diverse assembly with the highest turnover of more than 70% new members in 25 years of sustained democracy. This posed a major challenge for the Tajuddin Abbas-led House, which had to organize several capacity-building retreats to brush up members on legislative procedures in a bid to enhance the business of lawmaking. About one month into its existence, the House constituted standing committees, increasing the number from 109 to 140 to form the oversight functions of the Green over other arms of government. Separation of powers does not mean separation of government. We are one and the same government with sole purpose of providing services to the good people of this nation. For the first time, sectoral debates were introduced featuring the security chiefs and the economic management team. The aim is to receive briefings from policy makers across key sectors. We are here not to reprimand, but to understand you better. This is not an investigative hearing. We are just to interact to hear from you. The House also unveiled an eight-point legislative agenda to provide focus on issues that touch the masses. We've had um, key engagements on the issues of um, security sector reforms. Uh, we've had on you know tax reforms. We've had uh, engagements on um, you know reforming the electoral act. We've had several engagements that are key touch points for Nigerians. But at the same time, uh, I realize that, um, and I'll be I'll be feeling if I don't admit the fact that Nigerians really are in a hurry to feel the impact, right? And um, that sense of urgency is what we continue to demonstrate, the fact that we're not far removed from what it is that Nigerians are are going through. Within one year of the 10th Assembly, more than 1,300 bills passed first reading. Less than 100 of the bills have been passed so far, including the Social Investment Program Bill and Students' Loan Access to Higher Education Act, which resonated among Nigerians. More than 100 of the bills are being deliberated upon by relevant House committees, while about 80 other bills were referred to the Committee of the Whole. The first bill I had to make was that of a national, those of national importance, like uh, accountability of the uh, Federal uh, Character Commission, which was uh, which has a national coalition on yearning of the people that certain sections are neglected in terms of uh, uh, job allocation. If you look at the issues of this minimum wage, we we'll talk about it. We say that we have to check and ensure that the remunerations of our workers is reviewed. It has to be reviewed to be commensurate with realities of our economy. You will notice the body language that devolution of power from the central appears to be the angle. I'm chairman of rules and business, so I see many of the propositions that are coming in for constitutional amendment. Many of them have got to do with that devolution of power to the uh, sub-nationals. And I think that's where we are going. To expedite the passage of the 2024 budget one month after it was laid by President Tinubu, relevant House committees held joint sittings with their Senate counterparts, a practice the legislature says will be sustained. <laughs> Another novelty in one year of the 10th Assembly was a joint sitting on May 29, 2024, with President Tinubu in attendance. In the past, this would only happen during budget presentation. Continue to collaborate, work together, build our country. We have no other choice. On this occasion, the reintroduced national anthem was sung for the first time.
The completion of the new National Assembly Library recently inaugurated by President Tinubu is considered another plus for the 10th Assembly as a resource center that will further facilitate quality legislation in the country. One year gone with so much done. However, Nigerians anticipate the outcome and decision of the House on some crucial investigations by ad hoc committees of the House, such as that on alleged job racketeering in ministries, departments and agencies of government, as well as non-remittance of deductions of worker salaries from the National Housing Fund.